we're going to build that DWC system that we're going to use in that 5x5 five five side by side room. I'm going to use two three quarter inch rubber grommets, two three quarter inch elbows, one half inch grommet, one half inch elbow with half inch line for sight glass. So you can determine the water level. 13 sixteenths for the half inch hole, one and an eighth for the three quarter inch grommets, a Sharpie, a utility knife. For my application here, I'm gonna use a 10 inch net pot basket. This is the, the, the most common module, it's the cheapest. I see it everywhere. Before you start plugging holes and ruining your project, make sure you get some kind of test plastic. You could do this on a five gallon bucket, a five gallon bucket lid. A random piece of plastic that you have just laying around the house. What I did here is I drilled a 13 16 hole here, a one and an eighth inch hole here, and you're going to make sure that these fittings are snug in these holes. They vary in sizes due to different manufacturing tolerances, so and you're going to make sure that they're snug. The last thing you want to do is follow along with this video and you have a different sized grommet due to different manufacturing and it, you drill the holes that I'm you know drilling here and it doesn't work then you have to go out and buy another 27 gallon bin from corner to the corner and I'm just gonna mark right here so we're gonna measure this up on the center here take the net pot and we're going to measure it and, and it's, it's tapered so it's eight and a quarter inches on the bottom ten and a quarter divide that by two it's five and one eighth and we're gonna make sure that it's five and an eighth I'm gonna go ahead and do a starter hole, just enough to get my blade through there. All right, there we go. Perfect. Take our three quarter inch fitting, I'm gonna center it here, and we're just eyeballing this 13 sixteenths. All right, I just want to point out I got the, the outdoor lights here to my left. While I was drilling these holes here, I came in to this tote and noticed, you know, some small little thin walled, you know, basically manufacturing holes. So I can run my finger over here on the outside. I'm kind of apprehensive about using these these totes now because these manufacturing defects right here could have just caused me a whole lot of grief. Look at this. This one's just plagued with them, dude. Look at these. These are just, I could fit a BB through that. That's, you'll never notice that until you put it next to, to light, you know, light on the outside of the container. So be careful about using the black totes, the 27 gallon totes. Make sure you check to see whether or not they got these manufacturing defect holes. These aren't actual holes yet. What it is, is this a manufacturing process and they're extremely thin wall. Like I probably pressed my nail right through that. And that is a major liability. So take that into consideration when you're choosing your tote. All right, so I went to storage and got one of my previous DWC bins that I know hold water. And I don't see any manufacturing defects on the walls. So make sure you guys, when you're picking out your totes, be very careful and do your due diligence before you even get out the store with those totes. Possibly use your cell phone uh, light and shine it on the outside while you keep, you know, uh, scoping out the inside for any kind of imperfections in the walls. Uh, you don't. The last thing you want to do is flood your house because of a ten dollar tote. Press in, fit. Be gentle as you can. Can't tell you how frail this situation actually is. Support the wall as you're pushing this in and creating that pressure fitting. Now we have provisions for a chiller later on, but that's all right. This just makes it easier for me and I get, but there's just a level of perfection that, you know, when it's my own work that I want to see. All right, so everything is drilled. We have our grommets, our elbows, and our tubing installed. Essentially, this is a provision here, a three-quarter inch provision for a chiller if we choose to add one later on. 
So this is our site. We'll be able to visually assess the, the water, the height of the water. Um, essentially, I'm going to fill this thing up to the bottom of the net pot. I'll come in and fill it up to the bottom of the net pot, and I'll mark that on this line. And as the plant goes through various stages in life, we can adjust the water height. We have our tote, and it is completely ready to set in place. I'm excited. Let's do it.